Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, you can listen to Steve every trading day. Um, Sorry about this, man. I'm in the middle. Uh, you can listen to Steve every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern, uh, no, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. You can also get his newsletter, Mastering Probability. Great newsletter. The way you get it, you come over to our website at TFNN, folks. You go into newsletters, you'll see it right on the right-hand side. You just hit that subscribe button. You can get Mastering Probability for one year for $149, one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you can get it for one year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. And they all, folks, come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So check it out. Steve has a huge amount of information, of course, on his site as soon as you subscribe. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Batting down the hatches, I believe. Oh, man, we're hustling beyond belief. It's like the whole city shut down. So, Wow, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah I mean, it's uh, they're talking about it uh, potentially being a direct hit, right? I mean, yeah. somebody, it looks like somebody along the East Coast is gonna, or West Coast is going to get it. Right, and right now it's us. <laughs> and that hasn't happened in 101 years. And so... Well, we're gonna we're gonna go for 102. We're gonna put gonna the white light right? out there in prayers. That's right, man. This thing's gotta <laughs> get out of there. That, and that's what's going on. As I'm I'm sorry, I bobbled your newsletter there because no, it's no, happening no, simultaneously. No, no. Yeah, we get, hey, I get yeah, it. Yeah, anyway, get it. yeah, totally get yeah. it. I mean, I. I yeah. I didn't watch any local news over the uh, weekend, and somebody said about a hurricane. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Sure Sure enough, you know, there it is. But I and we have plenty of time for it to get away. That's the bottom yes. line. It's only well, Monday, folks. So this happens a lot to us here. Yeah. But. Totally. And, and you find there's always rooms over here at the Rhodes household. So you're yeah, welcome to yeah. You're welcome to head. Uh, I looked at the weather forecast. It's sunny sky. So bring your hey, clubs. Hey, you know, I hate to do this to you, right? But yeah, I got to know this fishing story first, because what happened is that oh, this is what oh, happened, oh. Steve, is that I missed your first segment. Right. And yeah. then all I kept hearing is is the um, where'd you go to, to the. So we're up in Nantucket. The canyon. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. So, right. you know, I've got I've got some uh, three friends that have homes up there. And right. They, you know, they're up there in the summertime. And right. So we usually wait towards the uh, end of uh, we wait for the season to kind of get over right. so that's not as crowded and uh, so we play some great golf so myself and three buddies were playing golf and the uh, girls weren't going to be ready for a couple of hours so we're driving back uh, past town and uh, Kevin says hey let's just go hop on the boat let's grab some beers yeah uh, it was a beautiful day so we start heading on the uh, boat we get out towards Gray Point and uh all of a sudden, uh, one of the guys, Peter, says, it looks like there's some fish jumping out there. Yeah. So we, you know, head on out, take a look at it. Uh, we only had, we we're not we were not prepared to go fishing. So I said, Kevin, uh, you know, uh, he, he gets one of the, the rods uh, ready, throws out the uh, throws out the uh, the first cast. Yeah. And and literally with it, before I could even get to the second rod. Right. We get hit. Yeah. And it was a big, it was a, you know, a nice fight. So yeah. we bring that fish in. Now, we kept that one. We said, oh, this is going to be some great uh, sashimi. Yeah. Throw in the next rod. Boom. Get hit again. I and mean, just, just What were like you hitting? That. Were you hitting with two? Were tuna. Hitting? Tuna. Yeah, small tuna. Small tuna. But the footballs. Yeah. No, no, I'm with you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Put, putting up a good fight. Throw in the third one, and then we're back to normal. No hit. Throw in the next rod. Boom. Get hit again. I Bluefish. Love it. Tom, within like uh, half an hour, 45 minutes, right. we had taken in six, seven fish. Now, we, we released everything except for the one yeah, yeah. that we knew that we were going to eat out there. But it was the most amazing Isn't it? fishing experience day I, I've ever could. Encountered. Could you actually see them, too, stacked up? No. Uh, no. No. OK. OK. Because what, stage... what happens, that, what, hap what does happen, right? And I, You can actually see them, folks, stacked up, meaning... Yeah. The water's so clean there. You can go. You go down. It's crazy, man. And that's only happened to me once, but I saw them stacked up, and we could be like, you know, Christ walking across the water with the fish. That's, that's yeah. how many fish there are, right? Yeah, uh, we, we we didn't see this, and we had to go out a fairly decent way. So we're yeah. we're into the ocean area, right? Um, and so cool. Uh, yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. It's, it just it was my. It was like a fishing story. First, the golf was great, and then we get to and you don't know, do this. No, so. totally. Awesome. You know, so we sent a couple other guys out there that they didn't get this. They didn't get as many hits as we did. Yeah. You know, when we came in. But just uh, it was really a blast of a fishing that story. That is so cool. The, you know, the, 
we're, we're kind of saying, hey, the good news is that this didn't happen with, like grandkids on board. And the reason is because this would have been like their first experience. I and know. And they would have been thinking that's how you catch fish. Exactly. <laughs> I love it. That's Pretty not how cool. You catch fish. Yeah, I yeah. like it. That was, a, that was a great time. Okay, let's fish so, this market. Yeah, so uh, this Friday marks the end of September. And its close could signal. So I know you're talking about A to B equal CD yeah. patterns. And there can be A to Bs within A to B equal CD patterns. And we take a look at the bigger picture here on the monthly basis. If we get closes below those, June, in some cases, July swing points out there, we'll get monthly A to B equals CD down patterns. Uh, so, folks, you want to watch those green lines. You'll see this on Tiger TV or subscribe to Mastering Probability. You'll get this information. So the Dow is actually signaling that as we speak right now. So, too, with regard to the semis and the uh, transports out there. So they're suggesting we're in this larger A to B equals CD down pattern out here. Now, the Dow, just uh, as you were pointing out, multiple different A to B equals CD, the Dow is different A, B equals CD patterns for its daily, its weekly, and its monthly time frame. So over here on the left, I've got a smaller A to B equals CD pattern with the price projection, first level of 29,271. If this area does not hold, then we should get down towards that 28,391 level. On a weekly chart, we can see it's already made its 1 to 1.272 area. So its next price target could be 27,919. And then we're back to the uh, monthly uh, chart that gives you a one to one price projection in the uh, 26 982 area so those are the a to b equals cd down patterns now the dow futures the dow and its future chart for its daily time frame these would be the right hand panels folks that you would look at for the dow they have td9 count bottoms so i take a look at several different uh, patterns that are associated with tops and bottoms out there now if these do take hold what we should see is a counter trend rally that would take price up to their what's referred to as an oscillator and change line for the cash indice that's about the 30385 for the uh, future contract is about 3479 and when a daily time frame shows a bottom such as those TD9 counts. What I like to do, Tom, is look to the intraday charts and see if there are bottoming signals. Now, this snapshot was from about a half an hour ago. Okay. And this does have a number of different roads, momentum indicator signals, each that need bullish reversal candles to form. But a daily, we've got a potential daily bottom. The intraday charts are trying to form some type of bottom as well. And it's not just for the Dow. If we take a look at the ES, the NQ, and the Russell 2000, they too have daily TD9 count bottoms. And the daily TD9s, they're out in full force, just like the fish when I was fishing in Nantucket. I we've got uh, TD, TD9 count potential bottom patterns for everything with the exception of the semis. When we take a look at the semiconductor index on Friday, price tested and rejected that uh, July 5th swing point, which is a holiday, which, you know, so that, it, I mean, that should have been a light volume day. But regardless, last Friday was a test and rejection on lighter volume inside the SMHs. So I take a look at that from a volume standpoint. And when I look at the intraday charts for the semis, the the 195 minute, 130, 65, and 30 minute, they too are showing signs of a bottom out there. So, and then when I take a further look into some of the uh, stocks, TSM, AMD, Avgo, um, uh, Mu out here, they've got TD9 count bottoms. Um, so there's there's enough bottom signals to suggest that a counter trend rally. Tom, this is the most compelling chart here. And that is that on Friday, 1,426 instruments showed uh, TD nine count bottom patterns. That's 25% of the total stocks that I scanned, right. 5960. Back in March of 2020, it was 29%. So I believe we're going to get a counter trend rally. I'm not saying we're changing trend, yes. and this is a significant bottom, but just that we should see a counter trend move. And folks, very easy to get Steve's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go to Master and Probability. Hit that button. You are off to the races. Have a great Take one. Care, Stay Tom.